Hi everybody, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're here on this Tuesday. Um, we were in, when I left last Friday, we were on uh, Psalm 69, and we're still on Psalm 69. And I just want to read to you a few verses. I want you to be thinking about Jesus, uh, his cross, his um, death, and then look at what's happening in Psalm 69 as, as almost a, uh, well, it is, it's, a, it's predicting, prophesying Jesus' death and how it'll happen. So um, listen to this. Um, Even my brothers pretend they don't know me. They treat me like a stranger. Isn't that just like the disciples? They treated him just like a stranger. Passion for his house has consumed me, and the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. Remember, that was one of the things that was quoted when Jesus was tearing up the temple and uh, overturning the tables. They, They remembered the verse, and it was Psalm 69, verse 9. It said, passion for your house shall consume me. Um, so there's, there's that. Then um, over verse 21, it says, but instead they gave me poison for food. They offered sour wine for my thirst. Jesus received a sour wine vinegar type uh, drink on a sponge when he was on the cross. So there's more examples of... Uh, just uh, the prophetic part of psalms but also how much jesus must have had the psalms he must have he had the psalms in his head and in his heart and they were just always there so maybe this is a little lesson for us too and me as well to spend more time in the psalms you know in the psalms you have um their their songs but they're about life, and man, are they honest. They are so honest. Uh, honesty about um, our, our sin, honesty about how uh, we fail with God, honesty about our relationships. It's just uh, um, amazing. And one of the things I notice in Psalms is um, they're really honest to God about their anger with God. Some people say, well, you shouldn't get angry at God, but the Psalms really do uh, get angry and let God have it. And then I notice, but you'll notice when you read those Psalms that lets God have it, and then almost always at the end it gives thanks to God. And I think you'll notice that in your own prayer life too. If you really get angry, if you're really angry at God, let him have it, let God have it. And, uh, and you'll find at the end of that, if you, if you really let, him, let it out, that you will be filled with love and joy. It's the only person I know of that you can be angry at, and it actually gets better for you after you're done being angry. I know for sure that doesn't work with your wife or your husband or anybody else close to you. But with God, uh, he wants us to be honest and to, um, I mean, he already knows you're mad, so just let him have it. And then find the release and the love that will come after that that God will give you. Well, have a great day. I'm glad you uh, are here today, and I, I pray that God gives you a very blessed day. Goodbye.